Hey guys, it's Iggy here, and today I am super excited to show you guys how to create this fall plum look that I created for you guys. I've been really excited to create these looks for you. Fall is one of my favorite times of the year, so that means I get to create a little more fun, warm looks for you guys. So if you want to stay tuned to see how to create this look that I have right here, stay tuned and keep watching. All right, to start off this look, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with our Quench Hydrating Primer. I did not moisturize my skin or prime it this morning. <laughs> so if you guys are a little bit lazy, like I can be sometimes, this is a really great primer. Now for the fall, I like to go for a more matte finish on the skin. So I'm using our Shape Tape Matte Foundation and I'm just gonna blend that out with our Paddle to Perfection brush. Now, I like a very full coverage foundation, so I like to put on just a little bit. You know, just a teensy bit. Nothing too crazy. Very subtle, you know. All right, to conceal these bags of mine, because they um, need a lot of help, I'm gonna use our Shape Tape Contour and Concealer in the shade Light Sand, and if I didn't mention before, I used the shade Light Neutral in the Shape Tape Foundation. Also blending this concealer out with our Shaper Sponge. Literally, round head, slim face. Booty. So to lock in this foundation now, I'm using our Shape Tape Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. You guys can see that this foundation here gives a very even coverage. It's all matte and gives a very flawless look. To contour and bronze, I'm going in with... Really? Really? So to contour and bronze, I'm going in with our Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette here using the shade Princess Cut to Contour and then I'm gonna bronze with the shade Angel. Angel. Angle. I can't read today, apparently. Ever. Ooh, that is a snatch nose. Ooh, come on, free nose job. <laughs> because I have not had these babies wax in a hot minute. Mm. I'm gonna fill them in now with our Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse, and I'm using the shade Ash Blonde. Moving on to the eyes, today I'm using our Tardist Pro palette here and I'm gonna do more of a plum like purple eye look today using some of these shades right over here. So yeah, let's get started. So to start off, I'm using the shade Innocent in my crease for my transition. Next, to darken the crease, I'm gonna go in with the shade now, No Filter. Going in with the shade Mod here, and I'm just gonna place this all over my eyelid. Going back in with that shade No Filter, I'm now just gonna take this and place this on the lower lash line. Now to add some shimmer to this look, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Minx right here, and I'm gonna place this where I placed Mod all over the eyelid. The inner corner highlight, I'm using the shade Glam now, and I'm just gonna pop that on. All right, so both of my eyes are done. I'm now gonna go ahead and apply our Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara, and to top it off, give it more of a dramatic look. They're upside down. Um, I'm going to apply our Tardis Pro Cruelty Free Lashes in the Style Goddess. Show you guys a side by side. Here is my lashes with mascara and my other side without. As you can see, they are super full and super lengthening. I love this mascara. So, stupid me didn't know the camera was not recording. 
typical of me completely. What I was saying before, I applied a Heart Tardis double take eyeliner here, just using the pencil side to line my waterline. So now I'm gonna go in with our lip sculptor in the shade Rouge for a darky plum lippy. All right, this is what the lippy looks like on. Super comfortable, it's super pigmented, and it goes on the lips like butter. So pretty. This is definitely a color I don't wear very often ever, so I usually stick to my nudes and wear them more comfortable, but I really do love this lipstick with this eye look. And for those out there who really loves the formula of our Lip Sculptor lipsticks, but don't really like the shine too much, I actually have a really cool tip for you guys. Go in with my contour sponge that I used earlier, and I'm just going to take that and dab that into the powder. With that powder now, I'm just gonna press this all over the lips, like you're about to see. <laughs> Then I'll go in with my powder brush, or just any fluffy brush, and then dust off any excess of the powder that is left on, and you have a matte finish lip. Alright guys, and that completes today's look on this fall look here I created for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and comment down below what looks or videos you guys want to see next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!